this is a story that everybody knows, Victor Frankenstein creating his monster, but it's told from the perspective of Igor, Frankenstein's assistant. So why didn't it feel like a Frankenstein film? It feels more like a Sherlock movie than a movie about Frankenstein. It doesn't help itself when actors from Sherlock keep popping up. I really do feel for Andrew Scott, as whenever he has any kind of menacing role, I'm just waiting for him to go full Moriarty. The fact that the director has directed some episodes of the BBC show Sherlock may have you making a connection. <laughs> But it's mostly concerning that the director seems to want to be Guy Ritchie. This adaptation doesn't feel very much alive, but rather like watching something die. It's not that the film is poorly made, but it's just boring. By the time we actually see any kind of Frankenstein movie, my eyes are ready to close. Yeah, sure, Van Helsing is a bad movie, but it is also a fun, guilty pleasure. Therefore, I would rather watch Van Helsing on repeat than have to endure this snore fest again. It's sad to see the likes of James McAvoy and even Daniel Radcliffe reduced to such nonsense. It is James McAvoy that saves this film from being a complete failure, as he really got the crazy scientist down. After all, James McAvoy is the master of the manic laugh. Just like this version of Frankenstein's monster, the film is completely empty. Thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe, like the video and answer the comment question in the box below. What is your favourite adaptation of Frankenstein? If you enjoyed the video, please do share it on Twitter and Facebook too.